Hi everyone, I'm Agrima. I was Lisa's mentor in uh, Get Magic. This was my first time mentoring for Get Magic. Uh, Lisa's a seventh grader at Casti, um, and she's built an app to compute. Um, she'll tell you all about the app. Uh, but I was very impressed by Elisa's uh, work throughout uh, the mentorship program. She came in with a little bit of JavaScript experience, but she's rammed up so much on uh, not only JavaScript, but also HTML, CSS, uh, SQL. Uh, we ended up not using SQL and PHP, but she also learned that. She learned Airtable and GitHub. Um, and towards the end, she basically took the role of a product manager for the app and she decided what she wanted to keep in the interest of time and what things she wanted to uh, set aside for the future. Um, um, very, very proud to uh, uh, introduce Elise. So my mentor, as you heard, is Agrima and she works at Credit Karma as a data engineer. She is from New Delhi, India, but now she lives in Berkeley, California. Her hobbies include writing and baking, and she also volunteers at California Explorer Search and Rescue. So my project I decided to call Planet, and it's a customized app to become more eco-friendly in the form of an app. So basically you'll fill out a survey every month, and from that it'll decide, it'll give you suggestions once a week for things you do to be more eco-friendly, like try and eat less meat or like, carpooling or walking places and that sort of thing. And I decided to do this because it's useful and it creates a good kind of change in the world. And I learned what I learned is, as Agrima said, I learned HTML and CSS for the formatting of like the actual pages. I learned how to use Airtable to save user data. I learned how to use cookies. I expanded on my previous JavaScript knowledge. I learned a little bit of PHP, which we didn't end up actually using. And I learned how to use GitHub. And all the essential components of the app are done, but things that could be improved are adding notifications so you know when you need to fill out a survey or when it's added a suggestion, improving the visual aesthetics, or making it a website because, as I realized after the fact, making an, getting an app to download on a device is actually kind of complicated and sometimes costs money. So if I were to make it more usable, I'd probably want to make it a website. This is my demo. So that's the login page. You have to put in your username and your password in the box, and it will check it against the Airtable database to see if it's correct. And if it is, it'll create a cookie so that the next time you open up the app, you won't have to log in. And the cookie is gonna last for about 50 days. And if you don't have an account, you press the sign up button to make one. And there, this is the create account page, and you'll put in your information there. And then you have to press the button, but it won't create a cookie, so it'll take you back to the sign up page to actually sign in with that information. And this is the home page, so I wrote this sort of long paragraph about climate change and why you'd want to be more eco friendly. And then at the bottom, if you want to change your account, there's a link to do that. And it'll just take you back to the login page and it'll do the same thing. And then it'll take you back to the home page. This is a survey page and there's 16 multiple choice questions. And each question, each answer has a corresponding suggestion. The Questions to the far left are the best answer or like the most eco-friendly. And those don't actually have a suggestion with them, but all the other three, when you submit the form, it will figure out what your answers were and figure out what the corresponding suggestion is and put them all into an array and save that to your Airtable so that it can add more suggestions to your suggestions page. So then after you've finished putting in your answers, you're going to have to press the submit button. And it'll tell you that you've already filled out your survey and you have to come fill out it again next month. So you can't just keep filling it out every day. And this is the suggestions page. So once a week, it will grab the potential suggestions array and add one of them into your current suggestions and save that to Airtable again. So you'll get a new one every week. 
or whenever you open it, if it's been more than a week. And the last page is the resources page, and it has links to other websites that could be helpful if you want to be more eco-friendly, like about climate change. There's two with eco-friendly products, and there's another one with organizations you could donate to. And this is what the Airtable looks like. And so I decided to use this because while it also had things like a code and JavaScript to make the computer add things, it also had a visual component, so it was easier for me to understand. And then probably not the best thing to repeat passwords on because it's not super secure, but it was good for like a first learning how to use user data. So some of the highlights of doing magic were learning how to use HTML and CSS and being able to like actually code web pages and seeing the finished product was also really nice. Some lessons I learned were budgeting time better and also starting small with the codes. So not to like drop in a bunch of code and expect the whole thing to work and then kind of freak out when it doesn't. And also to use breakpoints to debug. And some challenges were finding a way to store the user data and also all things coding and Airtable were a little complicated to figure out because I hadn't used it before. Thank you.